Hello everybody. Uh, today we are going to talk about how to install Nginx on Ubuntu. Uh, this is using DigitalOcean. If you are new to DigitalOcean, there is a uh, link in the comments below, in the description below, where you can go sign up. Um, in my last video, I talked about how to set up a new droplet, how to add a new user, give permissions to that user, uh, shut down the root user and then log in via SFTP. So if you haven't watched that one yet and you have never done that before, then I would recommend checking that one out before you do this. Um, that is how we are going to be able to log in to our uh, uh, to the droplets to be able to see that we actually did things the right way. So check that out first. If you haven't, there is a link in the description below. But today we're going to install Nginx on an Ubuntu server on uh, on um, whatever this is called, DigitalOcean. I like Nginx a lot. It's a high performance web server uh, software. It's nice. It's kind of the equivalent of like an Apache. Um, it is, uh, it's great for if you're writing anything, um, uh, whether it be Rails or whatever, it's just, it's an excellent, uh, it's an excellent server software and very easy to install, very easy to use. So um, dig it, I think it's awesome. We're gonna set it up. Okay, so in my terminal, I've already SSH'd into my temp user, uh, into my demo droplet using my temp user, um, and we can just dive into installing Nginx. This is easy. We have to use the sudo control, so we're going to say sudo um, apt git install Nginx like that. If you want to read more about Nginx, if you aren't familiar with it, um, there is a link in the description below. So we'll run that, enter your username, I'm sorry, your password. There we go. It'll ask you if you want to continue the, uh, the installation after it shows you how much disk space it's gonna use. You just hit Y and press enter and it'll complete the installation for you. There we go, awesome. Okay, now it doesn't start automatically. You've got to start Nginx on, on, on your own. <laughs> Stutters. We have to do that with the sudo command again. So we'll sudo service Nginx start. Bam, it's running. Okay, now let's confirm that it's starting by visiting the IP address. This is easy. Um, you can just grab the IP address from your droplet, but if you're working entirely in the terminal, um, we can actually pull it from there. So we'll say if config. Uh, and then we'll say ethofo pipe um, grab init. I don't know what any of this means. Feel free to just grab it from the uh, screencast here. I'll put this command in the in the description. Okay. There it is. Shows us our address. Let's grab the address here, we'll jump on over, bam, and you should see this welcome screen by copy and pasting the IP address. Welcome to Nginx, just like that. Super easy. Okay, now if we reboot the server, we'd have to restart it again. So we want to set it up to be able to restart automatically, um, even if we reboot uh, or come back to it later. So this is simple we will, <coughs> pardon me, type this command into the terminal. We're gonna say update rc.d, rc.d, nginx, and we wanna say defaults. What we're saying is we want, we want uh, nginx to start up without us telling it to. And if it says uh, system start stop links for nginx already exist, that's good news. That means that it's already configured uh, to run at startup, which is awesome. Bam, just like that, working just fine. Um, that's how you uh, how you install Nginx on your server. Pretty easy. Um, now you've uh, now you've got that running. Now if you come back over to uh, and you log into your droplet via SFTP. For me, I did that through Coda. Um, if you do that, you can come into the uh, go back into your root. Uh, go into the etc. folder, and there is an nginx folder in here somewhere. Here we go. nginx folder is now installed. 
Um, now we have our sites available and sites enabled files. Uh, we'll come back to setting up, um, actually setting up VPS is using Nginx in the next video. Uh, with that, we'll be able to actually set up a www folder in our var folder, and, uh, and we'll link up the sites available and sites enabled folders as well. Awesome, but that's super easy. That's how you set up Nginx on a droplet on DigitalOcean. All right, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below, and uh, more coming soon.